Welcome to another installment of Mixing with the Geek. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Long Island iced tea. Because the drink was so popular in the 80s, I think it's the perfect cocktail to match your episode on the top eight celebrity albums of the 1980s. Bob Butt invented this cocktail in 1972 while working as a bartender in the Oak Beach Inn in Long Island, New York. The story goes the restaurant was having a contest to see which bartender could come up with the best new cocktail using triple sec as a main ingredient. Bob's approach was simple. Take the four main clear liquors, gin, tequila, tequila, rum, and vodka, add a splash of sour and a little bit of cola. Needless to say, he won and the rest is history. Now I know what you're thinking. This drink has a bad reputation, but have no fear, I'm using a recipe developed by Dale DeGruff. I find the proportions of his recipe balance really nicely, giving you a lot of flavor without putting it under the table. But don't get me wrong, this drink still packs a punch. We're gonna be building this drink right into a glass. I'm using a Collins glass, but a highball will do as well. We're gonna start by filling it with ice. Next, we're going to add a quarter ounce each of vodka, gin, white rum, and tequila. Now we add a half an ounce of triple sec, which is an orange flavored liqueur made from dried orange peels. Then we pour three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, a half an ounce of simple syrup. Now we're going to take our bar spoon and just stir it around a little bit. And finally, we're going to top with a little bit of cola. Now you can leave it as is and it comes out with this nice Arnold Palmer kind of look, but I'm going to take my straw, just kind of stir it around a little bit. I mean, it, all, it almost looks like an iced tea. It's crazy, it's crazy. No one's gonna know the difference. Now we're gonna garnish a little bit of lemon. And there you have a Long Island iced tea. Wow, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing how much the combination of all the liquors, the Coke and the, the lemon juice, you really don't taste any one of them. It kind of creates its own flavor that is remarkably similar to iced tea. Well guys, I hope you enjoy making your own Long Island iced tea. It's a very simple drink, and chances are you got everything you need right there in your liquor cabinet. And when you do, be sure to check out our episode on the top eight celebrity albums if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm your Vinyl Geek, I'll catch you on the flip side.